first leg of my trip headed to the airport fly out to the NBAA conference in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm gonna do a keynote speech bright and early tomorrow morning and then I'm doing a live podcast with Monty Moran who was the CEO of Chipotle for 15 years. Excited to do that and then I go from Fort Worth to Palm Beach, Florida to meet with a private company to do a keynote and a little mini workshop with their leadership team. Excited for a big week. There's talkers and doers. Be somebody who's known as a doer. Doesn't mean you don't think it through. Doesn't mean you're not intentional. Doesn't mean you're not thoughtful. We thoughtfully then take action on what we're doing so we become known as someone who has a bias for action. Amazing crowd uh, down at the NBAA Leadership Conference here in Fort Worth. Uh, they were so kind, engaged laughed a lot we had so much fun and then the book signing afterwards was really cool just the stories from people that have come here from all over the world uh, was fascinating that's one of my favorite parts about doing these is when we do a book signing afterwards and i get to learn about the stories of uh, all these amazing people well, it sounds cheesy in a way but it's it's so true though it's it makes this work so rewarding and fun and it just juices me up to keep going but i'm I'm pretty dead right now after a few hours of um, doing the speech. I did a, I, I then did a live podcast with Monty Moran uh, right after my speech. Uh, and he was the CEO of Chipotle for 13 years and then did a, a long book signing. So it was great. Um, love doing this stuff. I'm going to chill for a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to get back to work to practice for my next speech in Palm Beach, Florida which is the day after tomorrow. So big week, but I'm um, so grateful. It's, it's uh, what a day, it's awesome. Last night I had uh, an amazing dinner with the leadership team of Hedrick Brothers. Hedrick Brothers is a construction company here in Palm Beach, Florida. Um, started by two brothers and one of them was there at dinner last night. The current owner and CEO, Dale Hedrick, along with his wife and some of the other senior leaders. And I, I those dinners are uh, amazing to the fact that I, I feel so fortunate just to be there, um, to learn the stories. This guy started this business 40 years ago and now they employ hundreds of people um, doing really well. And they were just sharing all of the amazing stories of how this business got started. Uh, and I love turning it personal. So I was talking to Dale and his wife a lot about how they met and his pursuit of her in college, how he first asked her out when he was a junior and she was a freshman and she didn't eventually say yes for seven years, uh, but he was relentless in his pursuit and uh, she loved telling that story and he did too. It was really neat, I loved doing that. It was funny too, there were some people at the table who had worked with him for decades and they had not heard some of those stories. So I find that just kind of going there and asking the questions of people, uh, you can see how excited they can be to talk about their personal lives and I love learning about that part of people because everyone's got a story and those stories I find endlessly fascinating and uh, just a lot of fun. I'm excited to uh, to get to be with them today. I'm going to do about an hour keynote and then we're going to do a, a little workshop afterwards before I fly home late tonight to get back to my family. So excited. I just landed in Dayton driving home. It's uh, 12.15. Dayton to Fort Worth, a speech for the National Aviation Leadership Conference, then to Palm Beach for 
my time with the Hedrick Brothers Construction Company and the keynote today, it today blew my mind. It was um, just amazing, the level of engagement and kindness and learning from all the stories from everyone during the book signing. You know, the book signing has been, uh, at both these events that for this week, have been just so cool because people share quickly you know where they're from and what they do and I try to approach them with curiosity and learn from them and understand them better and it just shows there are so many impressive people from all over the world and I love the opportunity to meet them even if it's just briefly and learn about them and hear um, maybe how my book has impacted them or how they like to speak so today though at the end I finished and I felt really good felt like I I I, I, I said what I wanted to say in order to try to impact the people in the seats today. And they got up and gave me a standing ovation. And, you know, it happens every once in a while. And it's just, it's, it's emotional, man. It, 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 it almost, you almost like feel like, oh my, I'm going to break down. Uh, just the sense of the, the respect and love these people are showing you. It's, it's amazing. It's late. It's Friday night. I'm excited to get home and see my family.